people on the internet be like, Oh, now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. You have fucked up now. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's Game Junkie, back again with another video for you today. In today's video, I wanted to discuss something that actually happened uh, recently with Doom Eternal. And in case you weren't aware, about a few days ago, ID Software launched an update for the game that required you to download and install anti-cheat software known as Denuvo. Uh, they did this without telling anyone in advance, there wasn't any sort of notice given, and people were pissed. Um, now you may be asking, Game Junkie, if it's just to prevent cheating, what's the big deal? Well, basically, there's two problems with what they did. Uh, so the first, as I mentioned, was they launched this update, right? Most people had already bought the game, so if you didn't want Denuvo installed on your PC, then you're basically locked out of your $60 purchase. Second problem is what Denuvo actually does. See, it's not just that it prevents cheating. That's fine in and of itself. However, what Denuvo essentially does is it acts as a kernel level driver. So without getting too technical in this video, basically any software that has access to the kernel is considered highest privilege software and can do pretty much anything to your PC. Uh, that by itself makes Denuvo a potential security risk. But that's not all. It gets even worse. Many users even reported that after installing the update, their computer would lag or crash when running Doom Eternal when it didn't before. Understandably, there was a lot of backlash. Um, even in less than 24 hours, Doom Eternal went from having a Steam approval rating of 90% down to just mixed. Ouch. Doom Eternal was being uninstalled en masse. Uh, loads of people were taking social media to even vent their frustrations with the update. Uh, so, where does that leave us now? Well, it looks like ID Software has backed down, at least for now. Uh, they released a statement. The executive producer, Marty Stratton, came on record to say, and I'm quoting here, he says, Despite our best intentions, feedback from players has made it clear that we must reevaluate our approach to anti-cheat integration. With that, we will be removing the anti-cheat technology from the game in our next PC update, end quote. So, what's my take on all of this, right? Look, I understand there needs to be tools that help prevent cheating in games, but there's a right way of doing things and a very, very wrong way. If ID Software want, wanted to include Denuvo, they should have advertised that in the first place, before the game even went on sale. You don't release a game and then three months later you just slip in an update that includes anti-cheat software that nobody knew would be in the game when they originally bought it. I mean, I'm glad to see they are backing off now. Um, and, you know, probably the saddest part about all this is that they really broke trust with a lot of gamers. There's a lot of people who would have bought an ID software game before, but they may not now because of all this. So what do you guys think? Are you going to be playing Doom Eternal after all this? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this content, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.